Be honest, do you snore? Does your partner say you snore? <laughs> Without a doubt, snoring is disruptive, and in some severe cases, it can be life-threatening. While a CPAP may be recommended by a doctor, some feel it's difficult to use. The experts at Consumer Reports just looked at other treatments that can also give you and your partner some, some in uninterrupted sleep. <laughs> snoring is not just annoying, it can keep everyone in bed from getting a good night's sleep. It becomes harder to operate where you know, you have to be up at six, seven o'clock in the morning because the kids are up and you're unable to do that. Manish Amen tried lifestyle changes, but when those didn't work, he talked to his doctor about a sleep study. An overnight sleep test can detect whether you have obstructive sleep apnea, which is when your breathing pauses during sleep because something blocks your airway. Left untreated, obstructive sleep apnea can cause daytime sleepiness. It can also strain the heart and increase the risk of anxiety, diabetes, hypertension, and even stroke. The primary treatment for sleep apnea is a continuous positive airway pressure machine, or CPAP. Users are fitted with a mask connected to a pump that pushes air into the airway, holding it open while sleeping. CPAP can significantly reduce the number of breathing interruptions during the night, but patients often have complaints. It requires daily cleaning, which is um, another thing to add to your day-to-day -day routine. If the full face mask isn't for you, you might want to consider a nasal pillow or a nasal mask. Another alternative, custom-made dental devices. These are designed to move the jaw and to shift the tongue to the front of the mouth to keep the airway open, and they can be used along with CPAP. Then there are devices like Inspire that are surgically implanted in the upper chest like a pacemaker. They stabilize your throat during sleep to prevent obstruction of the airway. With no hose or mask to worry about, Inspire can seem much more convenient, but it's not an easy fix. Personally, I just want to be comfortable undergoing surgery for so that I can be managed without it. Remember that sleep issues can be serious, but a restful night begins with a good conversation with your doctor. So skipping alcohol can also reduce symptoms of sleep disorders, as can sleeping on your side or your stomach. Weight loss can also help because obesity is a primary factor for sleep apnea.